Uh, so I am Gopinath. I work as a research associate at uh, Achita Institute of Optometry. I am a graduate from Elite School and uh, did my PhD from Mahe. Uh, so right now I am going to share something on PhD in India. So uh, likewise, uh, how Pooja and Soman were explaining the details, how to approach, how to apply. Uh, in fact, down the line, when I, I did my PhD way back, like four years back, I started with so that time there was not much of information available uh, in the website of Indian Indian universities. But current right now, if you go and open up any university website, if they are uh, supporting with health, health health professional PhDs, you can find the details of the PhD, who are the potential supervisors. So all those uh, information which were provided by Soman and uh, Pooja. So something similar is available as well for Indian. Uh, graduates who like me, graduates who wants to pursue PhD in India. So without ado, so uh, so do you really need a, a PhD to be a research scientist? I have I know people who have taken a PhD after like or research be after B optum after being any master's degree or industry experience. And yes, PhD is a certification where you 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 are eligible to, to take up or you are given a certificate that you are eligible to do research. So why do you have to do PST? So uh, you can find answers like it's a higher position, you can earn more or power to change the world. So you have to decide which part or which points you are suitable for, then you take a PST. So what are the possible uh, topics or uh, potential topics you can do PST in India? You can start with very clinical, basic clinical question. Being a highly populated country, we do have so much of uh, clinical questions which are unanswered. You can do PhD in community eye health. Uh, the visual psychophysics is a new trend uh, which has already been established in Western and European countries. But in India, uh, last four or five years, it has been uh, taking up a good leap. And you can do PhD in education and management studies. But it is not just limited to this. You can take up in any aspect. I'm just giving the scratch from the top layers. So PhD eligibility following uh, followed by UGC. This is the support provided eligibility criteria. You should have a master's degree with a, uh, at least 55% marks. And if you are taking up PhD after your bachelor's, you should have a research program along with your bachelor's with a CGP of 7.5 at least. And your, if you have an MPhil coursework, which can be also converted uh, as a PhD degree, but it is not applicable in terms of optometry degree. And usual duration for PhD program in India is minimum uh, duration of uh, two years, excluding the coursework and maximum it can up, go up to six years. And you can get the all the PhD regulation details from this website, which I have put up here. And uh, all uh, like, uh, most of the universities take up admissions using uh, current admissions are happening through national entrance exam or they conduct a common entrance exam national level and take up the students. And uh, there are uh, opportunities or first preference given to the net or JR of qualified students uh, of about 40%. One problem is in optometry, there are no specific coursework or a domain which you can take up JR of net examination. So. Uh, chances of getting through this procedure is very difficult and most of the universities as I was mentioning they have put up the registered PhD scholars on the website on a uh, year basis which includes the candidate name the supervisor's name and date of enrollment and registration so that way you can identify the potential PhD topics as well as the PhD supervisor and uh, PhD through distance mode or uh, in regular employment which was actually not permitted before, but a recent update on the PhD regulations uh, supports the distance mode. If you are working in a proper academic position and willing to take up your PhD, you can uh, go through the PhD entrance exam, all the criteria which is given by the particular university. You have to put up a, with an MOU. So you identify as a PhD scholar, you identify a PhD supervisor at an university and then uh, do the all the uh, preliminary paperwork so that you go through the same process as a full-time PhD scholar and uh, you can still do it in a distance mode but the regulations are different across universities. I, I, not every university has implemented this. Uh, this is still uh, in, in debate mode. 
and uh, admission requirements for PhD programs, specifically in optometry. As I was telling, master's program, uh, optometry, MOPM from any reputed university and other PG degrees in case of if you want a PhD in education or management base. And 55 to 60 percent is the minimum cutoff as we get entrance exams and you propose your research requirements along with your proposal. And there are additional criteria like interviews and work experience, which also will help you uh, get into the PH, PhD as uh, abroad qualification like as, as in abroad you are supposed to have research publication so that you can uh, do it in a faster way and some of the universities and institution every university and institution has got their own PhD regulations they, they abide with the UGC regulation however they, they still have the subset of uh, uh, affiliations or regulations as per the uh, institution can do it in government or private affiliated to government or state universities, the interview universities, central as well as Institute of Finances. So I do not have any financial discourses to put up this. Manipal being my PhD place where uh, there, they do provide full-time PhD, University of Hyderabad, SRM and AIMS. All the PhD openings are there, I write up. Usually the full-time PhD is three to four years. You, you do get a stipend or a fellowship from uh, through the uh, university process and uh, some of the projects from uh, a grant also support you with the JRF or SRF or research associate position so that you can simultaneously do the project work as well as take up your PhD and coming to the part-time most universities support for the internal candidates which is up to maximum six years so this one depends on uh, university to university and uh, I will skip this slide yeah so Prime Minister Fellowship for Doctor Research is available if you are collaborating with the industry and trying to do PhD. So they support minimum, I think, are about 60 to 70,000 rupees. You get a stipend from the Prime Minister Fellowship. They offer it for minimum 1,000 students every year, every academic year. And there are plenty of opportunities. You have to find the connections, attend conferences, and look at the uh, previous uh, research scholars who have completed the PhD. There is a platform called Shod Ganga where you can filter out optometry publications or the thesis and find the potential supervisors. Along with that, you can also write to them to understand how is the process. And uh, there are uh, universities regularly send out their brochures and admission aspects. You can look into that. And before you start your PhD, are you really passionate about it? Do you really need a research degree to follow your passion? Uh, are you ready to go back to the university to take a PhD? Did you find your right, your su right supervisor? Can you afford it? Uh, are you ready to face more failures, face demotivation and tens of, lot, tens of workloads? So these are all the questions you should uh, really answer before you take, it up, take up any PhD. So I thank for the uh, opportunity.